Well, for many, it's where the seeds of hopes and dreams take root. But now it's facing a big money crisis. The Salvation Army's Boys and Girls Club of Durham may be forced to close. CBS North Carolina's Lauren Havlin found out how you can help keep the doors open. There's some success stories happening here every day. 11-year-old Matthew Thompson is one of them. I like about the Boys and Girls Club that we do things that we never done before. He's one of about 100 children in the Durham area that come to this Boys and Girls Club daily. It, it takes a lot of funding to, to run an operation, uh, you know, such as ours. Each day, the organization picks up the kids ages 6 to 18. They're given a meal and mentoring. The funding landscape has changed uh, over the years. Uh, so we're in a position now where we need to really get creative. Years ago, a major donor would give as much as $200,000 to this site. But as time has gone on, the amount of dollars coming in continues to lessen. I don't even like to think of the scenario of our Boys and Girls Club cl closing. Um, it's, it's, it's a scary thought. To keep the staff and the hours and days of operation the same, the Durham organization needs to raise $150,000 by the end of the year. We really feel the community is going to step up. For each and every child and their future, whether it's a $5 donation through their website or hundreds at their first gala later this year. To know what is offered to them here, to know the, the fellowship that they have amongst each other, to know that they're in an environment where they can look at adults and say, oh, I'm in a safe place. We need more of that, not less than that. In Durham, Lauren Havlin, CBS, North Carolina.